And these are the cabbage that we're going to use for the St. Patrick's Day dinner that we're going to use. So we definitely have enough for that. That's pretty cool. I need to get these out of the system so I can uh, plant some different things coming up because everything's looking pretty dead. And uh, I want to get some new seeds going. And so probably in about a week I'm going to go ahead and start these beds. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an update on the barrel aquaponics system. Uh, the system is still running really well. Uh, no problems, and uh, we got some pretty good growth going, and I'm going to run you guys through that. First thing we're going to do is look at the, uh, the fish as soon as the uh, that water in there, as soon as that empties. Okay, so you can see the fish down there. Uh, I just fed them. They, they really, I mean, you, you can really see a difference between these goldfish and the goldfish inside. The ones inside are, are always swimming around. They're always moving. These guys are just sitting there because the water's so cold. Uh, the water's still about, I don't know, probably mid to low 50s. So it's still pretty pretty cold in there. But uh, everything else is doing okay. I mean, we get a little bit of algae buildup, but that's okay. It's, it's not really that big of a deal. It's not hurting the system. But uh, up here, we have some growth. This is a cilantro. Uh, I bought this um, at uh, Walmart. Uh, it was like a buck and a half. So... I picked that up and just planted it in the system. Uh, this is I planted this uh, a few weeks ago, uh, right actually before it snowed. And uh, I planted it, it snowed, it wasn't doing very well, but it's, it seems to be coming back and seems to be doing really well. Uh, this is that little lettuce plant that I planted. I actually took out of the lettuce bed over there and stuck it in the system because it was all by itself. And it, the growth is actually pretty incredible. These these leaves are, so, I mean, they're, they're like little strips of leather. They're, it's It's pretty neat, I can't wait to set up our floating raft system and grow a bunch of these. Uh, this little plant, uh, not doing very well. Uh, I grew, he was a seedling I started last winter, um, or early, early winter, I should say, and I didn't really do much, but this one I took out of the raised bed and it's just doing great. And uh, it's already reaching for, oh, yeah, it's already reaching for that, that little cross right there. And uh, you can see that the flower's starting to grow on it. So it's doing really well and I'm really happy with that. But uh, on this side, we have broccoli. These are the seedlings I started uh, about, I don't know, maybe a month and a half ago. I uh, started them inside and then I just moved them out to the system. And uh, I don't really have to worry about the frost with these, so I just planted them and they're doing pretty well. Uh, in about, I don't know, maybe a week, two weeks, uh, I'm gonna plant some pole beans and set up uh, something for them to crawl on uh, on the back here. So, and I'll probably get some more plants and just, just fill up the system as much as I can, getting ready for the uh, growing season, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a water test and I'll come back and I'll give you guys the results of that Okay, so somebody asked how we got the watertight seal um, in the barrel aquaponics system And you can see we put some caulking around it because it was leaking a little bit, but pretty much uh, this is just a, like a, um, Non-threaded to a th to a threaded attachment um, Which th there's a a threaded a, th a threaded to three quarter inch on the other side of this that screws down in here and we and then we have a an o-ring that's underneath this metal washer that basically just pushes up against the the, uh, the barrel and keeps it from uh, uh, leaking so I just want to answer that question uh, same thing on the other, on the other side uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it this way because it's a real pain in the butt it is cheaper than buying a bulkhead adapter but I really do like this bulkhead adapters and they do run about 10 to 15 bucks online so uh, anyway, I hope that answers your question. Okay, so I just did the or, or I just did the water test, and these are my nitrates. Uh, it says zero, but I don't know if it's because it just rained and just filled the system. But it's still it, it's saying zero, but everything's doing so well that I don't know. Maybe the plants are eating all the all the new all the nitrates or something. I'm not really sure. Um, but the pH is actually right about where I want it. Uh, it's about a 6.8, and uh, that's that's pretty good. 6.87. That, that's about where I want it to be um, for now. And this is just ammonia. Um, yeah, it's still zero. So it's the the fish aren't acting up very much, and uh, what nitrates are in the system. I think it's just turning all the ammonia into this uh, into uh, food. So uh, we're gonna get the other fish from inside moved out here once our tilapia get here uh, they should get be, get here on Friday we ordered a hundred of them uh, they're fingerlings they're one inch to one and a half inches so they're small fingerlings and uh, yeah I just want I, I'll, I'll do a video on that 
uh, when they get here so uh, all this will be documented and I just wanted to give you guys an update on the system everything's you know everything's running well and I can't wait uh, for the spring to get here